Pixicam has to be one of my favorite sensors for Arduino. Typically when we think of a little microcontroller, we don't think about image recognition, video processing, blob detection, and all those things. Well, with a Pixicam, you can. Reason being, there's a lot of electronics built into this little board, including this camera, image processors. You can even hook servos up to the back of this, and it can be completely on its own panning and tilting, tracking an object. You don't even need a microcontroller. We're gonna talk about how you set this up, show you some of the apps that you run on your computer to see the camera, and then we'll go ahead and try hooking it up to an Arduino and see how that goes. So first things first, let's get this hooked up to the computer. There are lots of components to the Pixie camera system. And when you go onto their product page, you will find a program called Pixiemon. And that's the first thing you wanna do is download Pixiemon and get that running on your Pixie camera. And you just plug it into a USB port and open up Pixiemon here. I've already installed it. And we'll move it over here a little bit. There's something to look at. Okay. And you can see the image, not super high resolution, but that's okay. Here's where it gets really cool. To use this camera, you want to teach it something. That's why I have a lemon. And I picked this lemon because it's a different color than most of the stuff in this background, although I have this little arcade cabinet, but it should be okay. And what you do is you hold down this button till the camera light turns red, and then I can hold the lemon in front of it. And if you look at my screen, it's saying, oh, I see a lot of this color. Is that what you want? And then I click the button one more time. And now if you look on my computer screen here, it's tracking this lemon everywhere it goes. There's a few different settings up here. You can look at the raw video. You can look at the cooked video. And you can also just stop it. So you can track multiple objects. Right now we're just gonna look at the lemon. You can see it's even removing my finger from this, but it really sees that lemon and tracks it. Now, if I move out of the way, there's some yellow in the background. You can see it's starting to pick up a little bit of yellow right around here, but look at the lemon, look how good that is. Now, what's really cool is once you have an object like this, you can do a couple of things. One of them is you can directly connect a servo, two servos, in fact, to the back of the Pixie camera, and it will actually pan and tilt following this object around. Very cool. Another cool thing you can do is if you learn an object like this and you're building, say, a robot or an art installation or something that needs color or object recognition, you can hook it up to your Arduino and they provide a library for that. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my Pixie. And to hook it up to an Arduino, they give you this great little header on the back with this cable. And it plugs right into the ICSP port in the back of the Arduino. That's all you have to do. Get my USB cable out, plug that in. There we go. Now my Pixie is hooked up to my Arduino. I'm gonna quit out of the Pixiemon and I'm going to load the Arduino. When you go to their website, you'll also get a library of a zip file. I'll walk you through quickly how you would install a zip library. It's very easy. Include a library, add the .zip library. You can see I have it on my desktop already, and I've already installed it. Once you install it, you can go to Examples, scroll down, and you'll find Pixie. And we're just gonna do the Hello World to begin with. And this sketch is basically going to be a great place to start, and it tells you through the serial console, what it's seeing or its image recognition. So let's go ahead and upload that. And it's uploading and it's done. Serial port, let's see, 9600. Let's open up the serial monitor. We're at 9600, it says starting and nothing's really happening. So what's gonna happen here? What if I put the lemon in front of it? Look at that, it's actually giving me a detection of where it sees something, an X, Y coordinate. It's giving me that width and height of what it sees. Think about that in your next Arduino project, full video image blob detection with an Arduino.